Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about image processing in C Sharp Visual Studio. So I will quickly go to this toolbox and drag in a picture box. I'll resize it and now I'll copy this and paste this to create another picture box. Now I will drag into buttons as well. Button. So I'll drag it down here and I'll resize it. And now I will copy this, paste this, and I'll drag it down here. Now the text on this button will be browse, and the text on this button will be gray. Now we will browse a picture and show it in this picture box. So I'll double click on this browse button, and here I will write some code. So first I will use open file dialog, open file dialog. And then equals new open file dialog. And here I will put a parenthesis semicolon. And I will use if open file dot show dialog equals equals dialog result dot OK. Then do what? Then picture box one dot image equals new bitmap. And then here I will use the path of the image. So open file dot file name. And now it will show the image in picture box one. So I will run this. And now if I click on this browse button, and now if I click this sunflower field image and click OK, now you can see that it is showing here. Now if I close this and if I go to its design, now I'll go down and click on this gray button to create its click event and now we will write some code inside here to make this picture gray so for that i will create a method here public ball process image and here i will use curly braces now it is showing error because we have written something so return true semicolon and now i will write the code to change the image to gray here. So I'll pass in here a parameter bitmap and BMP. And now we will use this bitmap. So first I will use for loop. With for loop, we will get the each pixel at the width and the height of uh, this image. So for i and i is equal to zero, i is less than uh, BMP dot width. Thus we will use width and semicolon and then i plus plus and then inside this we will use another loop for int j equals zero semicolon j is less than bmp dot height and semicolon and j plus plus now we have each pixel at the height of this and the width of this image from bitmap now we will change it its color. Now first we will get the color of this bitmap. So color bmp color equals bmp dot get pixel at i comma j. So now we will get the end values of RGB from this bitmap bmp color. So end red is equal bmp cut dot r semicolon and end green equals bmp uh, color dot g and blue equals bmp color dot b semicolon now we will calculate the end value for gray so gray equals now we'll cast this to byte and now the formula is 0.299 into red plus 0.587 into green and plus 0.114 into blue. And now we'll put semicolon here. Now we'll assign red equals to gray and green equals to gray and blue equals to gray semicolon now this is not 
your ay so now here we will set the pixel to bmp so bmp dot set pixels now at i comma j and now it takes a color so color dot from argb which is average rgb and here i will use red and green comma blue and now i'll put semicolon here now our code is complete for this method so i'll call it here but first i'll create a bitmap and a copy of bitmap bitmap copy bitmap equals to new bit bitmap and here i will use picture box one dot image and i will cost it to bitmap here bitmap and now i'll put semicolon here and now if i run this application and now if i click on this browse button and click this sunflower picture and now if i click on this gray it is not working so let's close this because i'm not called this method so i'll use process image and here i will pause a copy bitmap and now i'll put semicolon here and now if i run this again now if i click on this browse select this image open it and now if i click on this gray now it is not working again so i'll close it down now we are in code and this is not working because we have not set it the, this picture box to an image so picture box to dot image is equal to uh, copy bitmap and semicolon and now if i run this again and now if i browse this and if i click on this sunflower image and click open and now if i click on this gray now you can see that it changed to gray so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you